My name's Simon. I play keyboards in the band. I grew up in Melbourne, in the outer suburbs of Melbourne. The first time I remember hearing sort of music was my mum playing piano, waking up to my mum playing classical music when I was three or four years old. I still remember those, that, that, that memory of waking up and just hearing her playing music. So from the age of four or five, I started playing piano and, and it's never really stopped. I haven't stopped since then. It's been an interesting journey because I came into it with the, with the classical upbringing, so a lot of the stuff that I was doing, I wasn't incredibly passionate about it. I was more doing it because I was told that I was good at it and I had talent in music, so I should pursue this because it's the thing that I can do well. I only really feel like I fell in love with music when I started studying it at, at a university level and playing with other people and then I really became passionate about it a lot more than I was in my youth. So I spent like 15 years studying the instrument and learning how to play it and then I fell in love with it. So it's, 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 it's a pretty weird way to approach it but I'm kind of grateful for the way that it happened because it just meant that the ability was there. I just had to find the love for it later on. You know. I guess the first artist that I kind of made a, a connection with was um, Earl Hines. My mum got me a record when I was about 15 or 16 and I remember hearing him play piano and I was just like wow I want to play like that and that really blew my mind. And like there was a few other jazz dudes from that era like Fats Waller from the early 40s and 50s where they had a classical in, sort of style in their music but they were heavily involved in improvisation and jazz and the birth of that kind of stuff. So I guess maybe it was the amalgamation of the two things, classical and jazz, and I could hear those influences that I've been working on for so long. The influences also stem with like the social scene that I'm involved in as well. So the, the people that I see, the, the crew that we're involved in in Melbourne, a lot of my influences come from the people that I hang out with and, and, and work with musically. So um, the Melbourne music scene's really incredible for that because there's just so many artists here that are doing their own thing. Like, I think with a similar intention that Hiatus has got, a lot of artists are approaching their music in that kind of vein where with this, you can just take it in any direction that you want. So that like the openness that we have here in Melbourne to music, I don't know, I haven't really found it anywhere else around the world. I've always been searching for a group of people where I can sort of be on the same level with, where it's a unified kind of sound, rather than backing someone or, or you know, being a session musician for a band. Although I've done that a fair bit in my, my career, I've always been sort of like, that's the one thing I've wanted to do, was be in a project where we all, it's, you know, it's that beautiful democratic kind of approach to, <laughs> to music which is, has, has got its positives and negatives, but it's like, I think it's, it's integral if you're gonna be in a band. It's a difficult thing to pinpoint inspiration, I think. Inspiration comes from every direction in life, you know, life experience. Inspiration comes from stuff you don't even realize is inspiring at the time, you know? It's a really difficult question for me to answer, I think. Like, inspiration and influences is, is a little bit mysterious to me. Hey, if you like this series and want to check out, should I say it into the camera? Yep, you, you can just kind of be like, hey, if you like this, check it self. out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Bring it down a notch, ourselves. Hey, if you like this, check it out. Yeah. Great. Bring it down a notch, ourselves. Charlie thought that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, if you like this series and want to check out more, subscribe to the Being Here YouTube channel.